Hey guys, it's Lala Lottie and welcome back to another video. Damn, I bet my face wasn't something you was expecting to see today. I mean, how long has it been? Like two months now? But I'm back and I have some manga to discuss. So one thing I've really been trying to do recently is read a lot more manga, which I've been struggling with for some reason. I've been trying to interest myself in newer series, maybe pick up on some older series that I've already read, but I've slowly been kind of diving into some of the more underrated and not talked about so much manga. And I found one recently which really stood out to me. Now, for some reason, I have been really obsessed with some of these, like, what I would describe as very masculine manga. I really like these kind of sporty manga which are very masculine in a way I guess I would describe it. Kind of in a sense of what Fist of the North Star is like. Something, you know, where you have a very good plot as well as a lot of violence. You know, just something to kind of I don't know what the feeling is. You know when you're like reading a manga and you're in a fight and you feel like you're there with them? That's the kind of manga I have been loving recently. Now, there are some pretty good manga recommendations out there. Fist of the North Star being one of them. Maybe something like Baki or Kengen Ashura. But I decided to kind of look more into the shonen genre. I kind of wanted to test out the waters with something that looked really entertaining, had some good art, as well as a very, very interesting and familiar plot. That's when I came across this series, Tough. Now, this manga was definitely something I feel like I wouldn't have picked up if I didn't really go ahead and search for it. And it was really weird to see how long and how good of a story this was and how very little people picked it up. I mean, I went on TikTok to see if I could see anyone post about it. Nothing. I went on YouTube. I could see no one posting about it, even Instagram and Twitter. I really couldn't find many people talk about it. I found a review on my anime list and it was really shocking to me because... This is one of the most badass manga I have ever read. Now, this manga is called Tough and Yo. This definitely describes our main character. Now, this manga, Tough, follows our main character, Kibo, who is a young 17-year-old boy who has a massive passion for martial arts. And he basically trains under his father and he wants to be the best at what he does. With this manga, we follow our main character and his story with how he enjoys martial arts as well as his journey in trying to become the best. He will do tournaments, he will do street fights, he will meet new people and he will meet new opponents. And I feel like the way that this manga went was so beautiful and perfect. Now I'm someone who loves a martial arts manga. I have read so many in the past but this one is probably my favorite. I was definitely worried about it being a shonen and having like these very typical things that happen but it didn't do that for me. It was definitely a shonen that was kind of unique in its own way. With most battles with shonen, I find myself constantly sitting there just turning a page and being like, yeah, I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, we're gonna have a little discussion here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're gonna give us your backstory and then you're gonna win. But when I was reading Tough, it was so much different. I was turning every page. Well, turning every page because this manga is not in English and I had to read this in scans. <laughs> but I was reading every single page and every single one was just so intense. It kind of felt almost as if you were actually watching some of these fights in front of you. And I'll say this as well. 
you don't really need to be someone who's into like martial arts or like any kind of fighting shonen manga. I feel like this manga is just like something that everyone could enjoy. It's a very interesting series. I also really want to point this out because one thing I love is when you can read something and you can notice when the author is actually writing a passion project. I've read countless manga before, say if it be a romance, an action, and you can see like they put their heart into it. But their heart isn't all there. When I'm reading this, I can see how much the mangaka loves martial arts. You can see how much detail he puts in with every single panel with his storytelling. Everything this man has done with this series is mind-blowing and beautiful. I think the art style also massively plays a big part in why I really enjoy this manga. Obviously being a martial arts manga, it kind kind of look a bit goofy if you don't do it the right way but when I'm reading this and I'm looking at the panels there are some panels that are just so beautiful and realistic and this manga is probably one of the prettiest art styles I've ever seen. I read countless and countless of battle shonen of just martial arts manga and nothing, nothing has ever reached this level I've seen when it comes to a sports manga or martial arts. Every time I was reading this manga, I was more engaged because the art kind of boosts it, I guess, in a way. I'm sure like a lot of people, like everyone who reads Berserk, if this if Berserk had a typical shounen art style, it would be still cool, but, you know, the art does have an effect, and I feel like that's something a lot of people who talk about manga don't discuss enough. Everyone loves to praise art, but they don't like to include why the art is so important. Take this, in some of the fights in this manga, you will have scenes where bones get broken, you can see some of the damage some of these fighters get. The art massively gives you the impact of feeling sorry for some of these people in this manga, feeling sorry for our main character, seeing what has happened to them. It's definitely a main like player in why some scenes are so effective compared to like other manga series. And this is one of those manga, which I will tell you now, if this had an anime adaptation, kind of barky level anime adaptation, let's say, let's give this to Madhouse. This would be one of the most successful martial arts series out there. Because what really was interesting to me was the series actually did start to print in English. I think they printed like two or three volumes in English. And then they stopped. And Viz, Viz, my, my besties, this is like a thing with some of these series. You gotta give them a chance. And especially this being an older series, I wonder if this got printed now, how big would this series be? I've seen no one talk about this series. And it is absolutely fantastic. And it's not even like it's a short series. It has over 400 chapters. It's a pretty long and interesting series. It doesn't drag. It's not cut too short. It's perfect. I was literally in a slump. And I read nearly 10 volumes of this manga in one day. So... If you want to know how good it is, this got me out of my biggest slump yet. And that's why I'm making this video for you guys. Because this manga definitely deserves more appreciation. I'd love to see this be reprinted again though. That is like my biggest thing. Because sometimes I see these manga, I see they get printed and it's kind of disappointing to find out how out of print they are and that they stopped them before it was a whole set in English. So I want to know, 
What do you guys think about this manga? Does it sound interesting to you? Would you possibly consider picking it up or is it going to be a miss for you? Like I say, with these videos, I feel like my main intention is definitely introducing you guys to some more underrated gems. Because it's series like this I read and I feel like they deserve the more love. They deserve the more attention. And I want to provide those series to you guys so we can all enjoy them together. We can have a good discussion about them. And I feel like it's pretty fun. So yeah, I'm going to end the video on that note. So uh, make sure you guys let me know if you check this series out. Because I'm really, really looking for someone else's opinion. I had like one or two people's opinions on the anime list. But I haven't seen anyone else's. So if you've read this manga, let me know. If you're going to read this manga, let me know. If you're going to read the manga and then you want to come back and tell me your opinion, please do because I'm very interested to hear all your opinions. But on that note, I guess it's time to say goodbye. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I have a lot of manga to talk about, guys. I have a lot of stuff to talk to you about, so don't worry. I may have been gone for two months, but I, I will be back. I will be back every week to provide you guys with content. And our new weekly upload schedule is, despite the day that I'm uploading today, it will, from now on, be every Monday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I just want to thank you guys as well to everyone who sticks around. I love you guys so much. You don't know how much I appreciate you. But on that note, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Farewell, friend DI.